Good morning, fam. Hey guys, it's Edna. It's kind of bright here. I am now residing in Colorado Springs. And as many of you guys who have been with me since the beginning, a lot has definitely changed. We're no longer in Florida. I think the last time we spoke, um, I had just given birth. And uh, anyway, I'm here now. <laughs> the battles have been even more intense. Um, most of the battles that I faced this past year, since we last been on, has been internal. More, and there were a lot of external. We had lost my father-in-law um, as one of them. That's probably one of the major challenges health-wise. We have been dealing a lot of stuff as a family, but we're here now. We're in Colorado Springs and we are currently, we just moved here uh, third week of July. And so now we're finally ready to um, just get back in our normal routines. Now I come on here because I feel like I need to come on here to encourage many of you all um, who may have been through more trials and tribulations than, than um, we thought we would have, especially these last year, few years to be exact. Um, you know, I didn't really have a reason to come on here except to share what God has put on my heart and that is we are in a glorious time we are a time where we will truly see the um, the things that he has been doing behind the scenes um, even through these challenging times and it's an exciting time and maybe a lot of us have felt that we missed it. That, you know, somehow, some way, we missed his instructions somehow. But we haven't. We're right on schedule. We're right on schedule. But today, I wanted to share a word of encouragement to you all. Um, we are in the midst of major changes, major, major changes. Although I've been quiet, I put myself on, well, I don't know if I did or if God did it, but I put myself on sabbatical. I think it's been almost a year since I posted anything. Oh, over a year. Gosh, it's been over a year. Jeez. The last time I spoke was February 2022. And it's July now, 2023. But we are in the midst of major changes. This past year has definitely been um, some deep work. Some deep work inside of me, some hard heart work inside of me, the things that have been hidden in those dark places, the things that I never wanted to deal with, those were the things that the Lord wanted me to handle. And so it's been an incredible journey. And, you know, my heart is really feeling like it's new again. Like, it's hard to explain, but it's as if layers have fallen off my heart and heart, my broken heart, and it's like fresh. It's like a new baby. It's like a new heart. Does that make sense? It's like a heart of, thank you, Holy Spirit, a heart of flesh. That's what it feels like. Um, and if to make it simple, you know, for those of you guys who are like, what are you talking about, Edna? 
our heart sometimes because we've gone through so many trials and tribulations, so many challenges that our heart gets so rocky because of all the wounds and the scales and the things that we do to protect ourselves from getting hurt, from getting disappointed and all that stuff. But now we're here. We're here at a place of what I feel like new paths that the Lord has in front of us. In our neighborhood, we live in a Colorado Springs. We have so many trails, which I absolutely love. And there's so much nature, so many <coughs> hiking trails, so many things that we can do. It's like endless. And sometimes we limit God to what we think we should do based on our actual experiences versus trusting God that these new paths that's in front of us is the best way to go. So for me specifically, not only did he change my environment externally um, with people, different groups, different locations, that's the obvious one, but even the areas that he wants me to focus to on, on business. And I really felt like this season that I'm about to walk in is really gonna be something different that I've never walked in before. Now, why do I share all of this? I share all of this because the ways of God are not carnal, meaning the ways of God are typically things that come off the left field, things that are not expected. Um, if you look at all the miracles Jesus did, or even the triumphs that Jesus the Lord has helped his people go through in the Old Testament and the New Testament, his ways were beyond natural comprehension. <laughs> they were outside of what um, you would possibly think. And if we really look at just scriptures in general, he moves differently in so many ways. He is such a overwhelming smart and genius like i don't even know how to describe him except glorious god that he'll always make a way for us no matter what so today i wanted to share what i learned um, during my time with the lord and it's about his beauty the beauty of the lord and the beauty of the lord is basically his glory and what is his glory? Signs, wonders, and miracles. You know, if you guys ever heard that song, Beauty from Ashes, I think Crystal Lois, I think that's her name, I forgot. Or Lois, I don't remember, but she was a, a amazing singer back in the days when I was a teenager. Um, anyway, he's gonna create beauty out of your ashes. And we need to raise up that level of expectancy that this beauty is gonna be beyond our wildest imagination. And I just wanna encourage you with that. Um, I don't remember the verse that I read this morning, but I'll put it in the description once I get back. But I wanted to know, for those of you guys who are still here, and who are still subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate you all. I know um, there are some of you guys that reached out via email. I just wasn't at a place to respond. I was really going through a time of heartbreak because I felt like here I am doing my best that I can, doing everything that he told me to do. And it seems like whatever I'm doing is not enough that I still wasn't moving forward. I just kept feeling like I was stuck between a rock and a hard place, that I would get a little movement, but then I would be stuck for a while again. And it was like constant hurdles and 
battles and opposition and all that stuff. That's what I felt throughout this past year. So it was heartbreaking. But the Lord has helped me come out of that. I'm in a much better place. And so anyway, I want to know for those of you guys who are joining in, who knows me or who don't know me, I want to know what's on your heart. What has the Lord put on your heart during your time of consecration with him this past season? I believe many of you have kind of gone back to the cave like I have and spent time with the Lord asking direction. And I truly believe a lot of you guys have some sort of insight, revelation, something that the Lord has put in your heart. I want to know what that is. What has God shared with you, you know, about what's happening in this season? And please put in the comments, let me know. And I would love to know what my other brothers and sisters in Christ are learning this hour. It's a beautiful thing when all of us bring the broken pieces are broke like when i say our broken pieces like the pieces of the puzzle thank you holy spirit I'm not broken <clears throat> pieces of the puzzle that the lord gave us and put it together so we could see the whole picture well god bless you guys i'm going to pray for you guys really quickly <coughs> <coughs> my allergy sorry Father, I just thank you for my brothers and sisters who are watching this. I thank you, God, that we made it. I thank you, Lord, God, that in spite of the opposition, we're still standing by your grace, by your strength, and by your power. Father, whatever it is, oh God, that they're seeking, I thank you, Lord, God, that you're going to give us clarity. Give all of us clarity on the next step. Help us not to be worried or anxious about tomorrow but to know that you have already gone before us and you will be the one oh god to lead us in the right path today and for the rest of the days we love you we honor you and i just lift up any brothers or any sister that may be going through some major heartbreak right now some challenges i pray for divine strength and i pray oh god that you would do just an amazing work in us and through us Lord God that you will show yourself strong in our situation and that the peace that passes all understanding and the joy that can only come by way of your spirit will come upon them and us now in Jesus name amen well God bless you guys and I'll talk to y'all soon take care my friends we'll be in touch I promise I'll be here more often. Take care. Bye.